Hey guys, Oggs from the US. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching another edition of Twitter React. It's been a while since I did one of this because you know we don't have so much to talk about. We have the same news repeating over and over again and people are tired. So I was tired too. But today we're going to talk about something different. The first topic is going to be about Ronald Coman. According to Romano, Fabrizio Romano, he said that uh, Coman is going to be appointed as the Barcelona new head coach. He's leaving his national team. Wow, that is a little strange for me. Why would Barcelona do that? I don't know. Maybe Barcelona been his dream job and he doesn't want to miss the golden opportunity for him to manage Barcelona. Because I remember when when he was uh Everton manager, uh he said that uh, it was an honor for him to be linked with Barcelona. And many sources at the time said that he was going to leave Everton to join Barcelona. It didn't happen. So this time it looks like uh, he doesn't want to miss another opportunity of managing one of uh, the biggest clubs in the world. And he used to be a player at Barcelona. So I think he got some sentiment attached to Barcelona. But this is a very, very complicated and risky job to take. Barcelona are in a total mess right now. And they are going to change the president maybe next season, next year. And when they change a new president, probably they are going to change a new coach. And uh, Xavi is the guy that everybody is saying that he is going to be the new Guardiola at Barcelona. So why would Coman take that risk knowing everything that could happen in a few months from now? And why would you abandon your national team to go sign for a club? You know what I mean? So I think Holland are going to feel a little bit rejected by their own son. You know? And I mean... I don't know how his thinking is on this decision, but I think it's very risky. It could be the same case as Lopetegui, you know, when he used to be uh, the Spain national team manager. And then at the same time, he already agreed a deal with Real Madrid. And it was on the media before the World Cup, and he ended up by getting sucked by the national team he joined real madrid and then got sucked after four months <laughs> you know what i mean so you're losing in your national team and also get sucked from the club that put you in trouble to begin with <laughs> you know what i mean so i'm afraid this could be the case for common but hey i'm not him and if that is going to make him happy, that is his choice. And I have nothing to say about it. I'm going to just to respect it. But hey, I'm just giving my perspective from a neutral fan and uh, just thinking a little bit outside the box. Let's read a few comments from people. What they think about this appointment or future appointment all right so let's read ali here said he will fail like all the managers yeah who knows i don't know man that team is a mess right now they don't have a good team messi is the only guy in the team that can do something right now oh no i'm lying because they have ansu fati they have ricky Puch, and um Messi, of course, still good, but 
slowing down he need just to be a given a freedom to do whatever he want on the field they still have Antoine Griezmann who is very good but because Messi and Suarez don't like him he's in that position you know what i mean so if common can come and put everybody together tell them hey this is about the club it's not about Messi it's not about Suarez it's about the team make them to walk together give Griezmann his best position on the field and maybe get rid of few players like Suarez and Vidal and all the aging squad need to go can you imagine that they were the oldest squad in the Champions League this season over 30s and it said that because of Messi if you are friends with Messi you are in the team and all the managers are afraid not to uh, you know not to upset Messi so if you are going to leave Vidal on the bench or Suarez Messi is going Messi is going to be mad so you got to put them in the team in order to please Messi so if that is the case and then what the point Barcelona is not Messi FC they have to start thinking about the future if they want to you know make their team great again Angelo here just say pretty much what i just uh, said basically this is a dream job for him yeah i think so um yeah like i said it's going to be weird to see how uh the holland national team are going to react to the news because this is just like abandoning your you know your country for a club it doesn't make sense to me but hey that is his decision okay well i heard that potichino was you know one of the candidates to take the job at barcelona the problem is poch managed uh the other club in Barcelona. What is the name of the club? Remind me in the comment. Espanyol de Barcelona, something like that. So he managed them and he said he would never manage Barcelona because he managed, you know, their enemies. So they are holding those words against him. So that's why sometimes in life you have to be very careful about what you say. So Pochettino, a good coach, a good manager, he could, you know, build the team in Barcelona. But Poch is not uh, somebody who will win you trophies immediately. He is about building. He will build a great team in a few years. But the charisma, you know, to win a trophy, he still needs to work very hard on that. But I am confident, 100% sure that Poch is going to have a job somewhere. Maybe not in a very top level, maybe in the second category where he can really build a team without any pressure and bring them to the top level. Let's now talk a little bit about Kai Harvard. And this is funny, from this... Uh, Sky Sport journalist. His name I can't even pronounce it. Kavish or something like that. This guy makes me really laugh. He always spreads some fake news. He's the guy who uh said that Chelsea were going to sign Diop and he's tried to like hide the name. He works for Kai Bet, uh, Sky Bet. So he is working for you know the gambling company has nothing to do with first a normal journalist he got pretty much everything wrong and i don't like the way he talks so he been just talking about a lot of nonsense but according to many reports chelsea are getting closer and they're gonna get a discount look even this guy here said harvard is still only 20 and he'll be worth blah 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 so this guy man when you see a news from this guy here Kavish or whatever it's pronounced don't listen to him 
Kai Harvard. The deal is going to be closed very soon. I know I've been saying this for a couple of months now, <laughs> but hey, this is one of the biggest deals during this uh, pandemic period. So it's not something that is going to happen just like that overnight. You know, we are taking a big risk. That is a lot of money. We are going to break our uh, transfer record by signing this boy, 21 years old. So it's not something that you, you're gonna do it overnight. So we have to be patient. Kevin Palmer, he's a very good journalist. I know in the past he got some stuff wrong, just like anybody else, but he usually gives some good news. So according to him, Chelsea are in final stages, final stages. Guys, I'm telling you, something is happening behind closed doors. Something is cooking. You can smell it. Okay, the dinner is ready. Okay, get ready and be hungry because you are going to eat some good food. <laughs> so this guy is saying something completely different than that Kavash guy from Sky Sport. Sky Sport, what happened to Sky Sport, man? They used to be one of the best in the business. Right now, it's uh, it just crap, man. They even report some, um, some like social media article from individuals. You know what I mean? So that is not good at all. So yeah, and uh, carefree you've said, but. Six days ago, you said this. <laughs> yeah, like I say, they keep contradicting each other, you know. But hey, this is the nature of the business. You can have a news now and after 20 minutes, something different, you know. Yeah, so a week ago, he said, yeah, he said that... It might be time for Chelsea fans to start tracking private plans from Germany tomorrow after Bayern Leverkusen exit from the Europa League. That was six days ago. And yeah, I mean, like I said, I can't really blame him for saying that. That's what he heard and that's what everybody believed. In the Chelsea community that after the Europa League everything will be done quickly and he will be joining Chelsea Football Club and then we heard that Kai Harvard need to go on two weeks vacation so we're still on time guys we're still on time chill out chill out we have our man